Welcome to What's in the Box. My name is Jesse. This is iHeart Board Games. Today we are looking at Treasure Island. This is a game by Mark Paquin. Vincent Dutrait does the art. I love a good Vincent Dutrait game, don't you? Matago Games is the um, is the publisher. And let's take a peek at what's in this box. By the way, this is a live unboxing, uncut. Whatever happens, happens. Last game I opened, I found a hair in it from the factory. That was fun. Um, that was Wingspan, if you want to go check that out. This one, you play as Long John Silver, one of you do, or you play as a pirate. Sorry about the plastic noise. There's a lot of that. Because we do everything live here, same as we do live on twitch.tv slash heartboardgames. Go check it out. So, Long John Silver is your prisoner. It's time to find his treasure. Follow the hints he gives you, then draw your moves and search areas directly on the board. How cool is that? So you can see here, it comes with like, it comes with markers, comes with shields, so everyone's marking their own version of the island. You're drawing all over the island. One of you has hidden treasure, the rest of you are trying to find it. This game spoke to me. I really wanted to get in on this. Two to five players, 45 minutes. Ages 10 and up. Let's take a peek at what's in the box. So first up, we got an ad. And then we have the book. Now I've looked at this book online. It's only 12 pages. It's kind of, oh no, 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 no. Take a peek at this. We have bent components right here. Now on what's in the box, that rarely happens. We've rarely seen that. Um, one moment. <laughs> Woo, live. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to dig over to it. First off, this book, the reason I noticed it has bent components because the book is bent. But that's not about that. We're here to look at what's inside the box. Maybe yours won't be bent. If it was, let me know in the comments below. I want to know if this is a regular thing or just a fluke thing. So, this rule book, it has a lot of art. 12 pages, but I think it's a really easy read because uh, once you set the rules, I mean, it should be pretty straightforward because after you reach page 10, or here we go, page 12 is reminders. But still, it's, it's not that thick of a book. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard. So those top two things were fine. Let's take a, this one's fine. By the way, these are in the game. They're really thin. Like, upsettingly thin. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, it, actually that looks way thicker than it is, but I don't know. That's like three cards worth, maybe? I was expecting card stock. I'd want like something a little stronger than that. Weird. Alright, here's our first bent one. Because this pops out, that actually doesn't really affect this too much. Because the actual part is fine, it looks like. Cool. So what are we looking at here? Confessional. These look like the cards that are used or, or something. I mean, we're, we're going to have to figure that out later. I haven't really read into it. This is a treasure chest. This is the thicker board. So there must be a reason why that one's thin and these are thick. Everything's so glossy. And the reason that is, is because you're going to be drawing using a dry erase marker onto all of these things. This one is pretty thick too. This is thick as well. This is the calendar sheet. I read this. Oh, wow. That's way bigger than I thought it would be. But that's all dry erase board as well. You're drawing onto it. Here is the game board. This is the... the the bigger part of everything. It has cardinal directions written on it, north, south, east, west, all that stuff. And it is double-sided. There's the other side. It's a much darker board on the other side, but increases your playability. Which is cool. And I just hit that. Now this is neat. This game's on the expensive side, but here's why it is on the expensive side. You get some cool stuff with it, like this thing. 
I forget the exact name of it. Post it in the comments below. But they tell you about it in there. And there's a rubber band or something in there. But yeah, this this little thing is cool. It holds one of your markers and you use that to stick onto a spot and then you're drawing with it like all around. I'm not that's not a very good angle, is it? Yeah, you're drawing all around with it. How cool is that? Just sticks on there like that. Awesome. Put this back in the bag. Now here's the little mini maps that people are going to get to draw on behind their uh, behind their screens. Yeah, there's uh, there's four the standard ones, and then this one's probably for Long John Silver. And then we have the actual screens, which shows the art here on the other side, tells a little story about who they are, and uh, a bunch of other things related to the game. So this one. So right off the bat, there's two females here, and Bonnie. Oh, there's all sorts of weird hints here. I don't know what those are. This, I imagine, is Long John Silver's. Yes, he gets the face. Hey, you want the fish? Give me the fish. And then you have Jim Hawkins. Cool. And Oliver. Oliver. With his name. They have like little symbols all over the place. And by the way, I kind of skipped over hers. Yeah. Her wide shot. Uh, then you have a bunch of little things here. I'm guessing that's some sort of abilities that you mark off for each of them. And then, like I was saying about the, uh, the wooden material, you also have these materials which are for marking on the map as well. Take a peek at that. So, first off, you have this metal, this uh, plastic ruler. Let's say metal. Yeah, see-through metal. That's a thing. So that's kind of neat. I'm guessing it's a distance. Obviously, it's a distance thing. <laughs> guessing. No guessing involved. You got all these other ones too. I'm not gonna take them all out of plastic right now. To be honest, we're about to play this game. So that's why I'm unboxing it now. Um, got a ring here. Some sort of ring. A bigger ring. Okay, yes, I do. I did read a little bit of the rule book here. Um, whenever you start, you're gonna make a ring around your character and you're not able to place treasure in those spots. You have a big compass here. A lot of cool stuff. And as we always do, we always look under this thing to see what treasures are below. There's some treasure. Oh, oh, look at that. That's what happened. This thing opens. So that's where they were hiding. Because probably people would open that and be like, where's the other stuff? So we have some stickers here that probably go on these things. Then we have the minis and the dry erase markers that all have little pirate things. So let's take a look at these minis. Because that's what you came to see, right? Hmm? Did I drop one? I did. Here we go. One mini here. Let me change the focus on that. Hold tight while I do that. Let's see, focus. Can't be seen, can't be seen. Let's get a brighter color. Let's change that focus. There we go. And let's raise the gain up. There you go. Now you can see these things. So that's one. So they all appear to be pretty unique. Oh, that's like blurring out. Some colors are better than others when it comes to this right now. Why is that? Oh, colors are being crazy right now. I cannot tell you why. This one looks all right. We, we can deal with that. And finally, so they're all unique. This might be cool to paint. Um, I got to say, these minis feel... They feel different. If anyone knows why they feel different, like if you have a copy of this game, let me know. Because they don't feel like plastic. They feel like some sort of composite. 
That feels like they're going to break. Okay. Let me know if you know why that is. Long John Silver is the most normal feeling one, but it's almost like a 3D print almost. Weird. That's it for this unboxing, though. Um, if you played this, let me know. We're going to play it on stream soon. I want to say maybe February, maybe even closer. Go to twitch.tv slash hardboardgames so you don't miss it. Uh, hit that follow button over there. Uh, if you're on here, hit subscribe. Why haven't you hit it yet? Probably because we were waiting for, uh, I don't know, some treasure to make an appearance. Well, this whole game is a treasure. So let's watch it played, and I'll see you next time.